Hello, welcome to Corky's Tea Time. <laughs> well, we all know how we are complaining about the price of gases. Have you seen the price of ink pens lately? This was six dollars for 12 ink pens over at Office Depot. But what I got in there before I found the sale package, $20 and $30 for ink pens. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I know I could go over to the dollar store and get an ink pen for a dollar. But, you know, there are some pens that I like for them to run a certain way, you know, write a certain way. And speaking of writing, I got some mail. This here is from a friend. Look at that picture on that card. Book. Inkwell, quill, flowers, the vase, a lot going on in this picture. Very pretty and colorful. And then from her husband, I got this card. And to me, this card kind of looks very vintage-like. I just love it. Look at all those pansies. How pretty. Would you say pansies are like a... Yeah, they're pansies. Yeah, very pretty. Very vintage looking. And um, the way we got to writing was I was talking to them a while back about how putting pen to paper is almost like a lost art these days. Everybody's too busy on the computer or texting or whatever, you know. And I'm like, to actually sit down somewhere and write a letter, you know. It's relaxing. I find it to be relaxing. I like it. I enjoy it. So we stopped at an upscale resale. It's a charity shop for the American Cancer Society. Usually you can go there with $40 and walk out with a whole seasonal wardrobe. Their inventory was so low. I'm like, their donations must be really low. The racks were just a few items on each rack. And um, just not much of anything to choose from. I walked around the store twice. I looked and I looked. I found two items. And these are really, to me, pretty cool. The first one was $12.00. And it was for this little demi toss set. This is just a little, little set. Demi toss cups are for coffee. And uh, this is by Queen Anne. And it has really, really dark red roses on it. I don't know if you can see them there or not. I don't know how much of the light's reflecting on it. And it says Queen Anne on the bottom. And uh, made in England. And then the plate has these three clusters of roses right there. And it says Queen Anne on the bottom of the plate. You can see it. And uh, very nice, fits right in the palm of your hand. You know, they're very small. The plate is about four inches. The cup is about two inches. And this is just perfect for the little ones to have tea with us. But you know in their teapots, we're not putting hot tea. We put root beer, chocolate milk, strawberry milk, the things that kids like. Kids don't like tea, not little ones. I'm going to set that over there for a minute. And damn, there was this sign. And this obviously used to be a cabinet door. This was pretty creative what they did. And uh, they kind of distressed the corners of it a bit, a little bit around the edges. And it says, sometimes my memories of you sneak out of my eyes and roll down my cheeks. Just as precious as could be. See, sometimes my memories of you sneak out of my eyes and roll down my cheeks. Isn't that cute? Just as cute as could be. You know, 
And it, this was obviously a cabinet door at some time. Pretty brilliant. And I'm sure what this is, that's the words that are on here. I think somebody got a cricket. Isn't it cute? Where am I going to put this sign? Because it says, sometimes my memories of you sneak out of my eyes and roll down my cheeks. It's going to go in the guest room. So that when family comes and visits, this is going to be hung up on the wall so that that is something they could see from laying in the bed. I really like that. That was pretty creative. Two dollars. Like I said, it was obviously a cab. It, it is so slippery because the varnish is really strong on it. And it looks like it might be cherry wood. But somebody must have got a cricket and started making things. But I got this at the shop for two dollars. And I just love it, you know. And the lady who was working the counter the cash register. Oh, either she's not a pleasant lady or she just wasn't in a good mood. And uh, <laughs> her silly self looks at me and she goes, yeah, we always find things in the $2 pile, don't we? I didn't know this was $2. I was expecting to pay 10 <laughs> When she said $2, I was like, oh, gift to me, you know. But she was just in a kind of a frumpy, grumpy mood, you know. And when I told her I would, this was over on a shelf in the corner. And it was part of a display. So instead of just going over and taking apart their display so I could get to the teacup, I let her know that I would like to buy this demi -tasse cup. And uh, so she goes over and she looks at it and she comes back empty handed. I told her I said I wanted to buy it. And she goes, oh, okay. And she yells at the other lady across the room. She wanted to buy it. I don't know. Some of them ladies are so cute. Sometimes it's so funny in there. But I just love that little shop. They have it set up and organized very, very well. But their inventory was really low. I guess it's a sign of the times, you know. When we went on our vacation and we stayed at the house, it's an old farmhouse and it has two flights of stairs, okay? And you go up the stairs, the first set, and you come to a landing. And then you turn and you go up to the second set. So the first set, you're going straight up this way you get to the landing, then you got to turn and go up that way. An old farmhouse, no steps, I tell you, were pretty good sized steps. My right hip, my right leg, and my the right side of my lower back is so sore. And I think it was from, I'm not used to having, I have a ranch style home, so I am all one level, which I've always loved. And, uh, Doing those stairs was quite a bit. Now, I sat here the other day and I'm like, why would I be so sore going up and down the stairs? You know, I mean, come on, I can't be that bad off, you know. And I know that being on this medication long term takes a toll on your muscles and your bones. And I sat there and I was like, oh, I'm going up and down those stairs six times a day. And I was there for three days, so that's 18 times, you know. You go up for the evening, come down in the night. Both bathrooms in that house are downstairs. So you got to go back down the flight of stairs at night, go back up the flight of stairs to get back in bed, come down the flight of stairs in the morning, go back up the flight of stairs to get dressed, come down the flight of stairs to go to breakfast. There was my six times a day. I'm like, no wonder I'm hurting. Took a couple Tylenol. That was good for a couple hours, maybe a day. Now, 
Now, my son told me to eat bananas. Bananas is good for bone pain. And I'm like, I haven't Googled it yet. I haven't looked it up yet. I'm just sitting here thinking, bananas, good for pain. So I'm going to have to look that up, you know. So if you think bananas are good for pain, let me know. Because like I said to him this morning, I did eat a banana for breakfast, not because of the knowing uh, anything about the pain I didn't know. I just went ahead and had a banana for breakfast and I always share my banana with my dog. And had the banana. I will tell you right now I'm still in pain but it's not as extreme. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. And we'll see. Well, I found out what the red cap is on these ink pens. It's like a protectant, you know. School starts tomorrow. And, uh, we we'll miss the kids, you know. We're back to our routine. Summer was a blast. You get to act all goofy and crazy and wild. But now it's going to be back to the serious business. And hearing the kids say, I don't want do homework you know I'll be like well you got to do your homework because we have to answer to your parents and your parents are going to say the one job I give you to do have the kids do their homework so back to the school year and Halloween's going to be coming soon and I have two pumpkins growing out in the garden, and uh, we'll keep going forward and see how that goes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close out for now, but if you could give me some feedback on what you know about bananas and pain, and let's see if there is some truth to this old wise tale, because I don't know, I don't believe it. News to me, and these ink pens are just terrible. I don't know what's going on in the world today, but you can't get a good ink pen anymore. Blah! You know, because of the gas prices, prices of ink pens, and I can't get them to work. Well, <laughs> let's go have a cup of tea, and I will talk to y'all later. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.